Hey sports fans, Ralph Luck here with Ninja the Sorry about the camera. Let's get this straight, Ralph. Ninja the martial arts cat in her bed. Just right over there, although you can't see her because she's hiding under the covers because she's a ninja. Um, nighttime, always in the RV. Have a light, great for you. And I'm um, just watching some YouTube stuff, but I wanted to post kind of a different video here. Not everybody's going to relate. Those that relate are going to have various opinions, and I welcome any opinions. But I've got a buddy that is very much like me. He's got kids, significant other, and when I was married, especially with my daughter after she was born, uh, any time off, I felt obligated as a good husband, a good parent, to always be with my daughter or my wife. Nonstop. People would invite me out. Hey, do you want to come camping for the weekend? Do you want to do this? No, no, not if uh, I, I couldn't leave my family. Uh, I'm a family man. I love my family. I enjoy being with my family. Well, after that failed marriage uh, and reading and watching enough stuff on relationships and talking to friends that didn't do that, I realized that in a relationship, you need to be two independent people coming together for the common bond. But if your spouse enjoys kayaking or bicycling and you don't, they should go out and enjoy that. If there's a weekend off and they want to go bicycling all day and you're at home with the kid or home alone, that's great. There should be independence. There should be two independent persons in a relationship. And these days, regardless of what gender, sex, whatever anybody is. Um, and because of the fact that what happens is when you rely your entire life and self-worth on, I need to be with my children and my wife or husband, or whoever. I need to be with this person, or that person, or my kids, and I can never leave. No, I can't go on that camping trip. Go to a concert on Friday night, and stay the night in a hotel, and come back the next day? No, I can't leave my kids. I can't leave my wife. I can't leave my husband. I can't leave my unicorn. Years and years and years of that will then, especially if the both of you are doing that, from what I've learned, what I've experienced, what I've read, will burn up and destroy a relationship. You need to be... Here I am, a guy living in an RV with a cat, and I'm giving relationship advice. But I felt it important because, you know what? I've been on the failing end of that. I didn't take a, a trip in the military to go to Italy for two weeks because I said, my daughter's too young. I couldn't leave just my wife with my two-year-old daughter or three-year-old daughter, four-year-old daughter, whatever age she was. No, I, that wouldn't be responsible. If I, if I can stay within the state and not have, not have to leave her for two weeks to go to Italy, Italy, oh, then I'm the good parent. Oh, yes. And most people don't recognize this. They're just like I did. They're trying to be the best spouse, significant other, parent that they possibly can. And so they believe that means losing their individuality. Sure, they go to work on their own. Sure, they may visit a friend for an hour or two or three, but they won't do it overnight. They certainly wouldn't go out like alone camping on a weekend. Um, and it really burns up and deteriorates the relationship. Don't take my word for it. Please go read some of the so-called experts on this. When you lose your individuality and, oh, they don't like boating. Well, I guess I sell, I'll sell my boat since we've been together now for a year. And I guess I just won't go boating again. Really? One of the things that you may have enjoyed so much in your life, you're going to get rid of because the other party doesn't like it. 
Tell you what, keep that boat. This is a hypothetical situation. Keep that boat and you go out one week at a month or one day a month on your own in that boat. You enjoy it. You keep enjoying the things that you enjoy. Don't lose your individuality. That other person fell in love with you for the individual you are. Not to be molded like clay into one lump and be one organism instead of two separate beings. If your significant other says, hey, there's this great concert in another state and my friends are going to go. It's a day to get there. We're going to stay overnight in a hotel, watch the concert, stay another night in a hotel, drive back. You should be saying, fabulous. That's so great that you're going to go out with your friends and go to that concert and do something you enjoy. I support that. Anyway, that's my two cents. Comment. Let me know what you think. Be good. Be happy. Spread love and joy.